There's no way. For anyone that's familiar with demos casting, I'm sure that you all are. For anyone that watched Challenger League last year. Yep, they're missing a the player, by the way. Top right, where is he? <laughs> I mean, he's one of the only players with the camera He's as well, not there! a bit of a worry. Demo does like to lose his mind. And Helios Gaming last year gave us mm -hmm. all a lot of entertainment. And I think that Dunlimited are probably the closest thing we've got to that this time round. But here's the thing about Helios Gaming. As much as what they did last year, weren't they also one of the first teams to get eliminated? Yes. So that's where I'm going off. I just think Dunlimited last week, as good of a siege that he did, they did play, I would still say that I think the bad plays outweighed that. I think that that one v five that Jags, I can't shake that. That no. sums up in my that sums up the team. Tough, I think tough one to shake. It's people are always going to remember you for the bad things that happen, never the good things. That's just the way it is in life. And personally, I don't. Know, it's, it's hard to say, but for Don Limited, just that one v five is just. It shook me. It really has shook me, and I just, I don't know. I don't know. I thought def I thought they played good last week. I thought they did. Well, they played well, and they played well on Shally as well, Demo, yep. which is going to be map number one here. We've got our bands coming in now as well. Death Row are going to be starting off on the defense here. I think Swaz is a real talent. I've been very, very impressed with that man. I think he's been been top tier, um, getting stuck in, especially against that Ascent team. And we've, we've talked about Deadshot being you know, one of the next up and coming in the French scene. I think equally Swaz at the moment, he, he's playing some some top, top tier gameplay. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can perform tonight. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. I like the bands that we've got so far. Dokubi, Wamai, Ying, and a Valkyrie. Leaves a couple of things open. Alibi's up. Alibi is be loving it. open. Um, we've commented already this season at uh, some length about the old alibi crutch that seems to be uh, infiltrating in a team, or potentially sometimes there's more than one in a team. Not going to see alibi played here. But of course, with the Wamai ban, which is something that we occasionally see, but we don't always see, it leaves other options open for the defenders. Now, I'm not saying that any of those options are being brought here, but things like a mirror window, things like a uh, Echo bringing the Yokai's, all that sort of stuff is on the table and available. So we had to our top floor defense as our first choice, generally seen as, as the last picked in the current meta with Shally. Top floor is very easy for the attackers to get a plant down. That's because there's a blind spot. Mostly that's why it's very, very easy. Looking at Defro and their second up. It's as B-Tech as you like. There's nothing here that is like, oh, that's interesting, that's new. They've got the, the basic walls reinforced. Their lineup is very just... Do I use the term bland? It's just... It is what it is. It's what you expect to see. I do worry about the lineup when you start talking about a top floor and you start talking about that blind spot. No C4 here. Well, which is already a little bit of an alarm bell. Sure, we've got the Toxic Babe canisters. You'd just like a little bit more. They're trying to play across. They've got that extension what in towards fireplace. They've also extended downstairs in towards kitchen. I assume that they would have some shotgun holes being made as well, so they can utilize those. Maybe towards the main breach. No, not even anything. So they're just down. I assume they're down there just to stop players nading, but they've already just lost two players. One of them down to an aid only. Dunlimited just walked in. This is how Unlimited play. They play fast and furious. They've got good control of Solar here, should they want it. Frenchy is going to do his best to try and bide a little bit of time here. Toxic Babe Canister to cut off the push into bathroom. Angle held there onto the Solar window. He knows someone's out there, but there's not a great deal that he can do about it right now. Rorik, he's waiting for his time to shine. No nades. Remove that default. He's used a couple of nades already and to great effect. Yeah, it's quite important that uh, there's no nades left for Don Limited because eliminating Frenchy on that top floor stairs is a bit tricky whenever he can try and hold the window swing in from bathroom and also just front up anyone who maybe wants to walk up the stairs also. Nades would be the best way to eliminate him but maybe Don Limited are not worried about the smoke. Let's pick off everyone else. Frenchy does expose himself and Don Limited Ollie. They're going to gift their ferry. Very free round already here in our first round of Shall I? Flawless round there for Don Limited. Nothing standing in their way. They had everything that you could hope to have. That looked too easy. On that attack. Did that feel too easy? Big opening kill, I think, with the nade. And then as soon as Dunlimited see that hole in that opening, they hit the go button. We know these guys to be aggressive. We know them to not be afraid at just boldly walking into sight mm -hmm. or into the map off the back of whatever information it is that they have. I'm, I'm, you know, it's very difficult to tell that, oh, they've got these cracking pre-placed drones and they know what's going on, or they just don't fear anything. They didn't even enter the site. 
all the kills they got it. from was either obviously downstairs inside a kitchen or just sitting on windows. And that is again one of the reasons why we probably don't see top floor, Ollie, is the window yes. gameplay is big. You have a double window that cuts off both bomb sites. It, it crosses it. It's the same reason why we don't see a clubhouse. We don't see the cache. Is because you have an area that you can cut off the bomb site into two. That's that's what you do not want to have as a defense because then you're very limited in in your space. It becomes very claustrophobic and you can't really move anywhere. And then you're in a sitting duck essentially for nades from below. Which you can you can understand that's the way Defra were trying to play. We stop them from nading below. Give them that window control. Let them have it. We'll play static. We'll stop them from getting the nades in. But if you lose the players downstairs, you lose the players downstairs. Could you say that Death Row were a little bit done limited in their setup? Mm -mm, I'm walking tonight. <laughs> walking where? Out of the studio. Just off? I'm not having that tonight. None of that. It's only round two. Come on. Exactly. You, you actually thought. Get oh, early. If you didn't tune in to our last play day on Monday, I did mention that Ollie's very good at the one liners. And basically, he, <laughs> d he didn't give any one liners on Monday night because he was put in the hot seat. And now he's, he must have sat down last night, had a think to himself, and thought, okay. What cringe can I come up with today? <laughs> and that's what we've got. Any more coming, hopefully? Oh, maybe. Got a few lined up. See if the opportunity presents. Switch things up, round number two. And the top floor was no good at all. Instead, going to be going to bar. Again, slightly different lineup. I do worry about the lack of denial. No nades. No smoke this time either. Although, with the way that Dunlimited play, is a smoke really something that you're going to get a lot of value out of? You can, of course, area deny, but you're never going to really be looking at denying a plant from going down because that really isn't their style. They went all in on just defending library. You have a player inside suicide. You have, obviously, that top fireplace being held. There is a lone roamer towards Solar who's just picked up Hypex by himself. Nobody with him from Dunlimited. He was looking to crash walk in as that nook. And he's been shut down. Shukri, he doesn't know how important that is because that's really taken, I think, the steam out of Dunlimited's attack. They would be relying on Nook being able to pounce and being able to backstab whenever everything's being tossed in towards Library and just walk in and pick up free kills with people who aren't even looking at him. Gorant did a good job of holding on to Library there for a little bit of time. Did deploy a couple of those Kiba barricades to keep himself safe. We mentioned earlier with the Wamai ban, it does open other things up, and one of those things is an Azami. Don't always get to see Azami be played, and mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why it can be very effective at holding into Library. Although, we have seen Death Row drop out of there fairly quickly, as it has been taken over here by Dunlimited. Ground now being gained. Still got a player at the top of Fireplace, though. Prime going to be in position here. He too will drop himself back. So Death Row have done a reasonable job there, but there's still quite a bit of time here, Demo. 45 seconds. It's a long old time to have library control. I still think they need to get a few more picks though, Wally. I think they need to find something else. Nordwin may be looking for that. Jaeger, but Shikri gets the better off him. A great engagement. There's somebody in sight again. Just people walking in. Unlimited were so good at it against 10 Star, and they fell for the trap every single time. And Death Row perhaps suffering the same effect. Fuse are going to be called outside now as the last couple of kills fly on in. Gorank being credited with both of those. Gotta be cautious of any doorway that looks directly into sight. You need to keep a yeah. close eye on that because Unlimited, they will just go for a little bit of a look and sometimes be rewarded. At least that round for Death Row, they were only rewarded with a kill, as Death Row have managed to grab one back here. They yeah, have indeed. Again, I think that, that first important pick for Shukri was, was massive, eliminating that nook. And that's one of the problems with Dunlimited's playstyle, is there isn't a lot of trade potential. <sighs> the, the thing is with Dunlimited, I think whenever yeah. things go well for them, they look really, really good. Like we've seen the first round. How good was that yeah. first round? It was flawless. But one thing that well, they struggled with against 10 Star were if they're not taking that early lead in terms of the kill advantage. Well, even still, there was obviously a few times in board that we've seen even the kill advantage didn't didn't help them. But for the most part, the rounds that Dunlimited win, they're very clean. They're very straight to the point. There isn't, I think, a big reliance on clutches, to say. And whenever things don't go right for them and they lose that opening pick or a piece of utility gets eaten up, they're just, you know, dead in the water. They're stalled. They're a big opening pick team. Mm -hmm. Like me and my first driving lesson. Just a few stalls. God, my first driving lesson. What a, what a moment. I honestly thought I was going to die. Are you not a very good driver then? No, I know. I'm, I'm, at the start, obviously, you, you know, you're like, 
I'm driving a car. What's to stop somebody just ramming into me on the other side of the road? Because that's what, that's what driving is. It's a mutual agreement that you aren't just going to go and just drive in the other side of the road. It's true. You know, and yeah. I think that's what I, I thought about and I panicked about. That I'm driving along a road. Every time I see a car, I'm like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. But I'm here. I'm still living. Maybe driving's different where you're from. Because, I mean, that's never really crossed my mind, I'll be honest with you. Oh, just the way I think. Look at this. Nice maestro camera there. Yeah. I think that's also quite an underrated one. Uh, I think against a team like Dunn Limited, where you know we've mentioned, they'll jump in windows, they'll try and slip somebody in the backside. Just having a piece of information, it's a bit random, isn't it? Yeah. But that actually covers off three entranceways. It covers off the, the window jump-ins, the two of them, and also the staircase. It's quite good. And it soaks up an aid. Mm -hmm. Nordwin's dealt with it already, but it has cost him. Yeah, but now they know he's there, I suppose, which is probably the trade-off that you want, is knowing that, hey, they're looking to jump in West Main. Now we're ready for it. Shukri's looking a bit dangerous tonight, isn't he? That's not the first time he's been involved in an opening pick. Mm -hmm. Managed to grab himself. Nice little kill there onto good, Rorik. Good pick. Nade's gone. Again, another nade gone. So with one already being used, it does only leave one remaining. Army. Just going to see if he can get himself an angle here on these mates. That's the same There's angle. Hop up from Shukri. He's already got one from there, Army. You can't be gifting him another. And it's the hard breach demo. Oh, of everyone who swings, it's, it's the important one. The Fermite, who's essential in opening up that main wall. There's the nade will be rolled in. Doc, asleep at the wheel. Could have maybe have picked up his teammate. Swaz finally gets things going, only gets his first kill, but I'm sure there'll be many more to come for him. But again, done limited. This is what I mean, the stalling aspect of this side. They lost that opening pick, and it just goes from bad to worse. Hypex has a chance at trying to grab a couple back here. Isn't looking to play too active on this spot. And going to be going into a horrible crossfire, but does pick himself at one oh, along with Nordwin. Two versus two. All of a sudden, the tables have turned, and it puts a lot of pressure on these two remaining defenders, Frenchie and Prime. Vertical angle's being held here on the reverse. Frenchie going to find one onto Hypex. Nordwin, he's done a lot already in this round, but he's got a whole lot more to do. 30 seconds and two kills to find. Going to use the silent oh, step hatch. now so that he can move nice and quietly. But with that hatch being reinforced, it doesn't leave him with too many options here. It leaves him with just single doorways or a staircase. It's one or the other. He's going to opt for the window jump in. Instead, he will be spotted out. Now they know exactly where he is. They can set up that crossfire. As soon as he jumps in, only he will be shredded by the two heavy operators still left up alive. Nordwin, and he pops solid. But as we know, it's just going to be walking blindly into a crossfire. And death row stabilized. It looked a little bit shaky there in the mid round, Ollie. But again, I think they've done a lot of heavy lifting in that early game. Being able to stun and slow down Dun Limited, and you will get rewarded for it. It's one thing that I think that obviously on Chalet, whenever we've seen Ten Star go up against Unlimited, straight to the point, aggressive in their face, upset the apple cart off Dun Limited, and you'll be rewarded with a very, very good scoreline. You look at the tools that Dunlimited brought in that previous round, they had everything they needed. They had the Thatcher, they had the Thermite, they had nades. There was nothing really missing on the wish list of what you need to attack onto that site, but they didn't try to attack onto that site. They were just looking to get cheap kills over the top of reinforced walls. There was no intention to clear that top floor and to enable the Breacher to get the wall open. It's In my mind, for those attacks, it should, it should just be take from library which nobody will be holding, which, again, was correct. You go from library, open up office wall, clear office, do a bit of a half clear. You don't really have to fully take above. If you want to, you can go for it. But then just get that kitchen wall open. That yeah. is the important thing, is that the kitchen main wall, because it opens up everything. Everything opens up. The defenders don't have a lot of safe positions that they can sit in. Well, obviously, they're going to have positions that they can sit in, but if they were to set up or, or pick their head up, they'll just be taken clean off their shoulders. Back to the top floor. The only site so far that Dunlimited have been successful attacking. And it did come off the back of a real nice opening nade from Rorik. He was able to thread it through and deal with the little bit of defender presence that we had. Oh, Swaz, be careful there. There's Upside down mud. repel. There's also a guy in mud. You need to be extra cautious here. But Nordwin, he's going to see it that he's taken out and finished off. Dunlimited, what is it about this site demo where they just start at a million miles an hour? Mm -hmm. Early map control, but without really taking the map, it's a bit strange, isn't it? And they, again, have just picked up kills from realistically just windows, isn't it? Swaz, I mentioned, <laughs> I think he's a top-tier player. 
It's always, whenever I comment that someone's doing really good and I think they're going to do really well, this happens all the time. Northern all the time. Good bit of damage there in onto Prime, but little Stim Pistol back up, no problem whatsoever. It's not a bad way to use Doc against this aggressive side where you know you're likely going to get yourself into quite a few engagements in the early part of the round. Keep yourself nice and healthy. Nordwin now looking to make his way in through Mud. We'll have the option to make his way up Library Stairs as well. And finally, we're starting to see some focus on getting this breach open. We didn't even get to this point in round number one. We haven't really got to this point in any of the previous rounds either. Still just slowly but surely setting up as we can see that Dunlimited got that library control now. They set the Fermite Charge to the very far left off the wall, so that's going to probably not be the most ideal position because you'd want to open up the wall that now Army's going to open up. But the reason why he's done that, Ollie, is now it opens up a crossfire line onto uh, where the other two reinforced walls are, looking towards blue. That's going to give you a clear line of sight onto the diffuser, hopefully, from somebody playing blue stairs. So that's one way that you can do it. So they've got the main breach open. Now it's really up to Defro to see how they want to respond. Remember, they're a man down. And uh, is this the worst case scenario, Ollie? Uh, a roaming dock to do the job? You don't really want to be relying on a roaming dot. Go rank. He might be able to pick up IWI here. Depends on who gets the heads up first. Couple Ooh. of shots exchanged, but he is going to dip himself away. Drops down the hatch, thinking about chasing the kill. Diffuser. But the plant is going to be going down. Hypex and Rorik, they're going to be cleaning up onto site here. Shukri, he's let the plant go down, but he didn't really have much option. Go rank. He's in Narnia for all intents and purposes. He's got a long, hard rotate to make his way back. Army through the wall is going to take down Shukri and Go rank. Well, he won't make it up those library stairs. Done limited. Showing us that they are more than just a quick rush team. They can also get the plant down and play that objective. Yeah, once again, just showcases the, the issues that that top floor struggles with. It's too easy. Get that plant down, Ollie. You have that blind position. You can cut off piano from a window. Obviously, double window still a thing. Too, too many issues. It's too many roamers. No. Yeah. It's not the case of too many roamers. It's more just they were ready. Done limited already. We've yeah. seen plenty of times teams just fold under a single roamer coming in out of nowhere. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs Back as they can. to the bar then. Strange considering we've seen Chalet a couple of times and we have seen Garage be a fairly, uh, fairly popular choice. I, I like Basement. It's in a little bit of snowmobile. I think Basement is good. You've got Kaid and you've also got Bandit open. So you can try and trick. You've got plenty of Defenders who make basement, of course, quite easy. Azami being a massive one. Mirror? Eh, not as much. Still an option. It is an option. But I think Azami is great for that yeah. basement. A lot of tables that you can place them on. You can also, again, just block up the breach. You think about it sometimes, yeah. we would see ace charges go down onto walls. Impact tricking comes in, and then you can just plug up the hole. It, it happens. It, it can be a possibility, but... Death Row not opting to go down there, and I probably would be I'd be surprised if we see them go down there even the next round, Ollie. I think they'll probably go to Kitchen after this. Yeah, I think they'll just stick to the rotation, won't they? They've obviously got a plan and an idea of how they want to play Chalet on the defense, and I mean, it's not working terribly for them. Currently two for two. Now I've gone for a little bit of a change up in this round, though. Nice little deployable shield there from Frenchie. It just gives a little bit more security inside of the site. We know that Dunlimited are more than willing to just walk themselves in and have a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, they had Banshees last time, and they've actually sacked off the Melusi in favour for the Thorn, which two operators do similar jobs. One a little bit more potent than the other, obviously with the Thorn gadget being able to kill Crouch Walkers, whereas the Banshees don't have that luxury. Oh, goodness me. It's like a jump scare. Go rank. Can't you lucky stars? He's still alive. We're playing the Warden. Always a real difficult spot to play in this. That is going to remove... Oh, no, it doesn't remove the Azami Barricade. It was a little bit too far away, so he has still got that security. Frenchy, just getting itchy feet inside of the site. Probably feels like he's going to get pushed at a moment's notice here. C4 primed and ready in the hands of Gorank if he does choose to use it, but... There isn't any initial pressure coming in here, and these Keeper Barricades, they can just keep regenerating. Difference is this time with the Dunlimited attack. Look at Rorik over towards Office. That was the man that I believe got picked off very early on uh, whenever they were attempting these plays the last time, and it was a crucial position. All of the distraction right now for Defro is going on towards Library, going over towards Fireplace. 
they're probably not going to be ready for a nook hitting them at the final few seconds. So please remember to keep an eye on this nook because that's going to be the game changer. Nade comes through to remove the shield. Swaz can look to play a little bit further up on those library stairs. But it will have given the game away now. Rorik's position is known. There Doesn't go. matter. He goes for the swing regardless. Takes Swaz down. Prime now knows that he's going to be getting pushed from multiple angles. He's going to be oh. holding on to the window, but it's not good enough. Nordwin takes him out of the game. Frenchie going to be in on the side. He too gets cut down in a slew of crossfires. Gorank, you might still have control of library, but you fully lost control of the site. Unlimited 40 seconds to try and push on through. Gorank, it's going to be a very difficult task for him here. Nordwing going to be playing on the top of those library stairs. Does pick himself at one. IWI going to be getting that plant down. Finds a second. Not again. Not again. Three kills on the round. If he can take out the planter here, might have had a bit of a chance. The plant will go down without a hitch, however. One versus two in the post. Gorank, looking to see if he can catch anybody jumping out of that double window. Not going to have much information on site. No bulletproof being brought. No camera utility. Just going to hit the drop and hope. Hypex, not going to be moving. Just holding the angle nice and firm. IWI has made himself... A little bit safer. Got himself into main lobby there. Hypex just going to be holding. It's a patience game here from Dunn Limited. And Hypex's patience, it will reward him. Go rank. Gave it a go, but it wasn't good enough. Mm hmm. Once again, worrying from my end. After what Dunn Limited did last week, and then you start seeing 1v4s into 1v3 into 1v2. and Almost. It's the same issue for Dunn Limited. They do so well to get that plant down and set themselves up just to hold crossfires and trade off each other, but they just go in for the kill just one by one, and it's sure you got away with that time, but we've seen before, it's a recurring theme. It is. I think there's, there's definitely criticism that you can throw both sides here. I think Death Row's operator lineup and site selection hasn't always been the greatest. Death Row for me are making it just too easy for Dunlimited. Yeah. I think the setup from Defro, I think most of their defense setups are very basic. I think very easy to read into. You're going to know positions. Um, you know, look how easy it was to take control of Blue Shield, for goodness sake. You know, Nook knew exactly what to do. They knew a guy was in Fireplace. They knew a guy was in Suicide. They knew everything. And again, for Defro, it looks as if they're, they're really crutching on finding that opening pick. Shukri, again, was was out hunting for those kills on the Eger, but didn't come this time. Instead, he's the one who actually ends up dying. And it just kind of... You know, the big big thing about losing Shrikery uh, is it's not about uh, who's died. It's about that you haven't killed Dunlimited and you've gave Dunlimited the extra man. And we mentioned before, you yeah. need to get in there and ruin Dunlimited's ideas before they really start to get going. They're one of the more effective teams with that extra man yeah. compared to how how they are when they haven't got that extra man. When they've not got that extra man, I think they struggle quite a bit. Yeah. When they've got that extra man, it's, it's an entirely different different side. They're going for a slightly different approach this time. Previously, when we saw them attack into Kitchen, they brought a Thatcher. There's going to be no Thatcher in the lineup this time. But we didn't even get to open up walls, really. There wasn't any sort of hard breach going down. It was just a, let's all peek the guy that's holding the horrible pixel angle above the reinforced wall in Kitchen. The angle that looks onto those main stairs. Shukri will be doing just exactly the same. He picked up two kills. Why wouldn't you give it another look here and now? I highly doubt it'll be rewarded this uh. time. Nade there just getting sent in. Isn't going to do mm. too much damage. Still trying to remove those players above. Now, we've gone a little bit more for that library approach demo that you were asking for last time. And they have actually started to work their way in now. So this is already looking a little bit better. Can open up that angle again, all it looks to be with that Fermite charge in the very far left. No, okay. Instead going for the middle. Opens that up. I mean, again, he could have went for the very far left side because you don't really have to have half wall open for this take. You don't have to plant upstairs, you have to plant in the kitchen or the dining. That guy looking for the C4 over the top. No, looking for the trick instead, and there goes the nade to fall off on that Shukri. Takes a lot of damage, but the wall gets electrified nonetheless. All it's going to work out for them. That's going to stop Dunlimited for a time. They need to get the EMP grades from that lion, rotate it down, all in. Try and find where that Electroclaw really is. 
That is going to slow them down quite a great deal. Prime is going to be able to juice up his teammates there and give them a new lease of life as the Lion Scan comes out. It's not going to do too much for the meantime. Another nade. Another nade comes Misses. through, but it isn't going EMP to pick grenade. up the electric Use ball. them! Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Me. This is not looking good at all. Army, stunned. Finally, we see the EMPs rotated in. My goodness. You can hear them going off and... No doubt the wall should be getting open now, but look how much time that's taken, Devon. We've got 20 seconds left on the clock, and we've got all of Smoke's utility. He's only now going to start sending out Toxic Babe Canisters. Still has one in pocket. Smoke's going to come in to try and cut off the, the line of sight in the site. Shukri going to pick himself up a great C4. Hypex is still going to be above. Nordwin is the one to keep an eye on. He has the kit. He has the diffuser, but the kills start flying in. Death throw. Line them up and knock them down, Demo. I I don't I don't understand. Electroclaw on the wall, right? Sure, you're about to put it down. It's been electrified, whatever it is. That shouldn't be an issue. You still have a minute to go. You have a lion who has two EMP grenades that was not used for upstairs. Instead of doing it that way, they think, oh, we'll try and toss some nades in. But they wasted three grenades and still didn't get it. I think it was, was it placed bottom left as you looked at it? Yeah. Wasn't a, an extravagant placement by any means. Just EMP grenades. And look, first EMP grenade, hit it, bang. Yeah. No problem. Just, oh. You bring them for a reason. You bring them for a reason. It was obviously an intention as well, because last round when they attacked that site, they brought the Thatcher for that exact purpose. They just never got to that stage in the round. Still a 3-3 split. There's a world where we could be watching this and it would very easily be a 5-1 to somebody. We haven't seen the cleanest siege on either side so far. Done limited. Let's see how you approach your defensive rounds. So we have this extension where we have that aggressive shield towards the piano doorway. Ollie looking towards blue stairs, looking in towards library. Uh, this is, uh, I, I think, probably more of a comfortable strategy that I prefer and, and I'd like to see, uh, in my opinion. I think it just, it, again, the issue with bedroom is it's very easy for attackers to take, to take control and implant. You're basically trying to just stop them from even getting into the building with this strategy. That, that's the purpose of it. And, and you're really looking to play aggressive. You're looking to go gung-ho. You're looking to get these kills. And unlimited. Again, they've set up the, the correct way to do so. Plenty of openings, plenty of holes that they can utilize. Death row. How will they combat that? Oh, and no, Crouch Walk. Where, where have we seen this before? Just about everywhere. Banyard. Utility going to start coming in. He can plug up the hole there. Hypex has dealt with the Crouch Walking Nook. Oh, that's from the openings of the, the wall looking down onto the fireplace stairs. So, I mean, with all these different angles you can gain, you're looking to play aggressive, you're looking to give them absolutely nothing, no map control whatsoever. Death Row have probably realized this and thought, okay, how do we combat this? Solar take. Has to be a solar take. However, solar takes are very, very tricky, Ollie, to, to do if you cannot place your utility correctly. And right now, that seems to be a bit of an issue. There's concrete barriers that's causing issues. They've got triple stacked ADSs for this reason, Ollie. Nordman's very safe right now, if you think about it. And if they can maybe get somebody below to rotate and assist him inside a kitchen, he could be golden. Is there anyone downstairs with him? Nordman. There is Rorix downstairs with him. Just repositioned himself as well to maybe get a bit of a better angle. Rorik? Where is he going to keep an eye so far? We see a player rotating up there to New Balcony. He's going to make his rotation up library. Death Row have almost been shunned out of that take. Mm -hmm. Changing things up. They're going to have to come up with some ideas, and they're going to have to come up with them fairly quickly. There's only a minute here left remaining. Four versus four. Rorik got himself in a nice spot here at the top of library. Shukri will be inside of library. Rorik's got a little bit more to worry about. He's unlikely to be able to make that transition over toward Ivy and that deployable shield. Instead, he's kind of just got to pick his angle and work from here. Will be droned, so good work there from Death Row. 
But again, you're chasing shadows. Rorik, he can rotate himself off. Maybe look to go up main stairs now. Hypex is going to pick up his kill over onto Shukri. Frenchy does make his way on in. Will give the game away slightly. Swaz, he's joining the party as well. Kills now really starting to fly through as Rorik will be successful on that roam in taking out Swaz. Frenchy, he's just gone for a bold hop oh into sight. Picks up a kill onto Nordwin. He could look to try and get the plant down here if there is sufficient cover. And that's exactly what he's going to do. There's no C4 red in Rorik's ping. hand, but he has the red ping. The shots come through from army that's going to render the diffuser cold on the ground three seconds nothing you can do army credited with those final two kills death row not really knowing what attack they wanted to go for ollie we've seen that dunlimited really set themselves up for everything they had those extensions they tried to combat those extensions with the nook nook doesn't work okay let's then go solar oh wait they have way too much utility we cannot break through those lines now we have to go and do a library take with a minute to go. Never going to work. Never going to work. You don't have time. Didn't have the information. That was apparent as ever, Ollie. No information on where those defenders were located. And then you just run out of time. Because you spent so long trying to figure out what to do. It's kind of disappointing. Because you expect teams to be able to operate as little splinter groups. You know, you don't need everyone on, li on solo. You don't need everyone on library. You just need a couple of people here, a couple of people there, everybody working in harmony, as opposed to trying to rely on that crouch walking nook to get themselves that entry. Because Gorank, for all that there was a couple of drones knocking around his feet, he was relatively solo in that endeavor. Worrying. Worrying times to see Defro lose that top floor Def uh, defense, isn't it? Or lose that top floor attack, should I say, yeah, where, yeah. as we know, done limited. Very clean. I think we've been able just to showcase how it should be attacked and how easy it can be. I've been pleasantly surprised. I thought the death row were going to come through tonight and have a little bit of an easier time of things here. Because mm -hmm. I thought they looked good against the sand, I yeah. think. I mean, it has to be said, I think Swan's maybe not dropping the same numbers at the moment. Only what, that sent around eight, only four kills for the main entry. You know, we, that's where we need Swaz really starting to get activated if he wants to try and battle back against Unlimited, who really everyone in Unlimited right now is all he's putting in a shift. He's in a hot seat here. He's got a good chance at catching somebody wandering stray, but will he be given that opportunity? He's actually hopped himself straight in. Goal rank this time, picking up the opener onto Rorik. That should do something here for Death Row to give them a little bit more confidence to move forward. A little pre-fire there from Swaz as well as Hypex. He got caught... Just trying to come to assist IWI. Not in the best of spots. So they're going to go for a little bit of a punch hole, but it's not going to be the best thing to work with. Nordwin does still have control of the top of library stairs, but for how long? The utility is now going to start to come on through. The nade good EMP grenade. easily deals with the shield. The EMP prior to that to disable any Jaegers. Wasn't in any even way, but that's what it is. Works well, gets a shield. Done limited. Honestly. I think whenever you lose those two opening players in the first minute, you're probably thinking, let's just get it over with. Because I think trying to battle back against this in a 3v5 with the top floor slowly being torn apart by the nades and the utility. It's going to be a tricky one. I think Daffro, it's going to be down to them to win this out. They have all the pieces ready to make the puzzle. But let's see if they miss any pieces, Ollie. Adibai has got a great chance at a freebie here. No, Shukri trades, comes trades. off the drone at the right time. Direct trade army. Again, could do some damage. 50 seconds left to go, and he's firmly on the flank here, but it looks as though he was well known as Prime swings and takes him out. He was ready to collect. Nordwin in the sight. Drone going to give the game away. Only a matter of time now. Swaz. You asked for a little bit more from Swaz Demo, and I think he delivered in this round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Don Limited losing the first two players immediately after a minute. Honestly, at that stage, it's you're you're, you're, you're preying on on misplays from the attack. And if Daffro don't make any misplays and they just keep the trade game up, yeah, no issues at all. Uh, yeah, really rough one. Honestly, I think that's probably a round where Don Limited, Don Limited go back to again, which it looks as if they're going to go for that. They're going to go back to bar. It's one of those rounds where you sit there and think. Oh, well, we just lost two engagements. Let's just, let's just go again. Let's be a little bit more safer. Don't give those two engagements away. That's going to be a different round. Need to That's the mentality. Always, always sticks by him. I think uh, secretly said it very well a few years ago. He said at Siege, it's RNG, which is very true. This game, it's, it's RNG. It is.
Anything can happen to you. You can just get shot through a window. That was through a wall. That was through another window. It happens. <laughs> through a window, through a wall. Into another window. It can happen. Um, and it, you just Something that I always think is, is really important to bear in mind is it just all depends on how you play on the day. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> Stop, you get your own one line. It's your line that you've not said for goodness knows how long. I, I'm it, trying to get you to I'm say it I'm not giving you the credit. I'm, or I'm not giving you the... I don't Satisfaction? Know. But yeah, that's it. I'm not giving you that. My new one-liners are, that's brilliant. And that's so good. That's some of my, my best ever. Do you think we'll hear those tonight? Or maybe planting the bed. Another, honestly. Plant, plant on the bed, yeah. The Christmas album will be out soon. With her, <laughs> all the favourite top hits. All the one-liners from this season. The, the bonus track is Plant on the Bed. Plant on the Bed. <laughs> oh. Featuring number one hit singles such mm. as Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon to your Christmas stocking. Get it while, while stock lasts. Well done, Limited. Running it back. Reloading. Giving it another go. Mm. And so far it's worked a little bit better. Yep. 45 no. seconds. They've Nobody out in Narnia. A lot more reserved here. Lost contact with Gemini. Four nades, six slashes. With the EMP grenades. More than enough to eliminate the ADSs and the Aruni gates. No Wamai, of course, makes things a little bit easier. But then you kind of substitute in, of course, the Azami, Ollie, and this is where she's really good in the library because of that one cabinet in the middle of the room. Rorix gave himself up for pennies, Ollie. Not good at all. Hypex. We'll find one back. This little trade there on to go rank. The battle for the library is fierce, but I do I can keep replacing those key barriers as long as they keep regenerating. He's done left. That's it. Whenever this last one gets eliminated, Ollie, that is him in the open. Doesn't have that safety anymore to hide behind. Will activate the gate, Ollie. That's going to slow them down. Just again, probably another Gemini clone's going to have to wait to be redeployed, or he could just firm it, Ollie. Yeah, that's also another option for him. But look at the positions from Dunlimited. Just keep an eye on. Probably looking at IWI. He's in the hot seat, Ollie, inside a small box. And oh, he gets eliminated. Swaz gets the better off him. That's a big, important kill from Swaz. That's really going to dictate now how the pace of this round is going to change. Army will respond with a kill onto Double Window. Frenchy was maybe looking for a quick jump in, Ollie. While well, they do have the library control, Nordwind Attackers takes a swing. He himself gets battled back. Oh, Ollie, this is on a, on a tightrope right now. Who's going to stumble off at first? Well, Swaz is in a bit of a tough spot because he might have library control, but no one's with him right now. He doesn't have the support. Now, he's waiting for that to come through as the drones work ahead. Shukri. Maybe looking for a little bit of a hop in here two as nades. well. Two nades left, Ollie. Can start to try and displace these players upstairs, but 20 seconds, not a lot of time, really. Hypex is still in a good position to challenge here onto Library. And he has an ADS to boot, so at least one of those nades could get ripped up if it is taken that way. But Shukri has instead gone for a much more lateral approach. He's going to instead try and take Army out there, but he gets taken out from that top floor. Hypex with the swing, picks up two, three on the round prime. He might be headed toward the site. But you're out of time. Done limited, running it back, works a lot better, safer, more reserved, utilizing the utility at your hands. Yeah, much, much better. <laughs> Bit of a weird one again from, from Death Row. The stall out is horrendous, isn't it's, it? It's it's not more the stall out, it's the stall out and then the change up of going for a, for different ways that you have you don't even know. You don't even know if that's safe. That's the thing that gets me. Well, you know it isn't safe because there's a reason why Swaz isn't moving inside a library, it's because it's being held from fireplace. And then the guy walks in lobby. Walks in lobby and gets himself away. Yeah, it, it's... Very odd. Confusing from death row. And the thing is, well, if you're going for the library take, which, again, they did the last attack, where's the pressure onto the fireplace balcony? Why is the sledge not utilising the nades on that double window? I do think that... I'm pretty sure Hypex, he did find somebody, though, towards office, didn't he? Because remember, he... Well, he, he got he, three kills, so he must have... Well, he found somebody from office, I think, after they lost the first man. And then there was nobody else from from Daffro who actually went that way. And when, if you're a fire, if you're playing fireplace, if you're that player in the hot seat, which which was Hypex, if you know that nobody is pressuring your fireplace double window, you're golden. 
because that means that all you have to do is look one direction. You've got a, you've got a 180 degree cone. That's all you're working with. You just have to basically look that one way and that one way the whole time. Whenever you know you're starting to get pressure from behind, that makes things very difficult because then you're trying to hold two angles at the one time and they're both going opposite ways. It's all about adding layers as an attacker to put the pressure on the defense. You never want to feel comfortable as a defender if you're against a good attacking side. You know you're against a good attacking side if, you, if you're just scared the entire time. It's like coming against BDS and ranked. That's that experience if you, if you played against them. Because that's what it's like. You're never safe. You don't know what, where you're going to get hit from. It's the exact same thing here happening, I think, for, for Death Rose, that they're not trying to hit Unlimited from every angle. They're so one-dimensional. Round number 10. One round away from guaranteeing an overtime here for Dunlimited. Death Row, however, got a little bit more of a ways to go. Rorik inside the bathtub there. It's the slow nature of Death Row's attack. It really contrasts the way that Dunlimited like to play because Dunlimited are very aggressive early on on the attack. Coming up against this Death Row on the flip side, much more passive. I mean, sure, they've managed to get the breach open. Yeah, which was... And it hasn't caused them any yeah, problems. Exactly. That, that's the difference, Ollie. Sure, it may be a little bit more slower, but it is more controlled and a lot more consistent, as we said, than Dunlimited. What a swing from Rorik. Swaz. Off the board. Oh, a pick that you really shouldn't be giving away for this kind of attack. It's all about slow and patience and keeping that man advantage as close as you can if you're death row, but giving kills away to, to Dunlimited in such an easy fashion. And another one, Ollie. That's a player who was on the office balcony gets eliminated now. Also, what's going on with death row? Well, Dunlimited for the time being, they can just keep retreating back further and further into Solar. Waste this utility, waste this time. There's even a hatch to drop if they want to hang around for a little bit longer. But Rorik, he's likely going to make his way down those Solar stairs at some point. Nordwin, he can choose to hold on here for a little bit longer and see if he can wow. find more picks wow. up on and a down onto Prime. Make it three! A flawless round for Dunlimited. They lock in a map point. Unlimited, just unfazed. A lot of the rounds that they have won tonight have been so comfortable. There hasn't been a round, I think, that, they, that they've that they won all that they were probably sitting here thinking, they shouldn't be winning that. They shouldn't be getting away with that. There's maybe one on the defense, but... Well, what one was since, that? Since they've got over onto this... Sorry, one on the attack. Since they've got over onto the defense, they've run away with this game. I, I just look at them and think, yeah, it's been clean. It's been, it's been right in the money. Time out for death row. Is it a little bit too late? There's definitely uh, an argument to say you could have taken this time out a couple of rounds ago because things haven't been going well for a couple of rounds here for Death Row. You probably should have taken it on that that bar that you lost. Yeah. You shouldn't have been going into this next round while losing that one because that round you're probably thinking, oh, wow, this is actually, we're doing really good. We've got that early pressure. We've got that control. We've taken library. And then everything falls apart in the final few seconds. That's the round where you take the time out. <sighs> Pressure's on. Keep in mind, everyone, please keep in mind. Whoever loses this game, you will never see again. Well, no, well that's a bit dramatic. Yeah, that's a bit dramatic. You'll never see them again in this season of CL. <laughs> you should let me finish. <laughs> it's like we just sent them away to an island never to be seen again, off onto the boat, the Skull Island. <laughs> Gone. It's like that kid from, do you know that kid like chicken nuggets? It's like, you never see this face again. That little guy like yeah, bacon. Yeah, yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Trudy, I think her name was. <laughs> or tr truly Trudy, something like that. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of Goyo action. Basement, finally. Is that going to be the answer? I mean, Unlimited, they don't really need to go searching for the answer. They're being forced into the basement here due to the success that they've had elsewhere on the map. No kite, no bandit. They do have the mute, but isn't the, you know, the, the fully direct counter to any hard breach. It's just kind of a bit of a soft counter, which is easy enough to be EMP'd, whereas the electrification, you can just destroy the gadget straight up. I mean, death row, they do have the EMP grenade, so a single mute jammer shouldn't be an issue. They've got the also, which typically does scream, we're going to try and go for the snowmobile, but with the ying band, I suppose that's going to be quite difficult for death row to really have that big impact in these basement attacks. Well, an Ossa Shield has been placed down and the breach opened nice and quickly. 
You would look for a little bit more than just the Osser if you were going to look to try and get a plant down behind that. You'd want a bit more disruption going on around. So mm -hmm. we do look to things like Ying and maybe even Glass in some circumstances to provide some of that disruption. For the time being, Swaz going to be clearing this top floor. Going to easily get himself into an engagement here with Hypex. Did Hypex swings through flick? the wall. What a... What? I'm, I'm sorry, Swaz. You've got the kill, but Hypex, what he's just done. My goodness. How did he know? Heard the vault animation, didn't he? You've got to feel bad for Hypex there. He's just hit a live he's shot through Dorek the wall. Even Dorek knows as well. The nice shots came in. Yeah, he knows he's been done. Got the echo cam above. Swaz, did you not hear that? That's a free piece of utility, mate. Nope, instead he's actually looking for the player trying to follow up on the Yokai drone. Bro ran to go in and died instantly behind him. <laughs> Unlucky. It's a bit wholesome, isn't it? Wholesome chat. Ah, oh, the music. <laughs> we get the speakers shot usually quite early, so you don't you don't often get that nice little ambiance. It's a very strange approach here from Death Row. Too slow. Very slow. We've got a 10. minute left to go. The, the, so they've locked themselves into the snowmobile plant because they have no intention of taking big garage, no intention of taking trench. All of it's going to be coming for that B bomb site. The issue is with this bomb site is it is very, very easy to C4. You for a one C4 just at the breach, that radius is going to hit all of the plant positions. It's going to hit green bins, it's going to hit if you're just planting on the breach. Even if you try and push a little bit deeper, you're going to be planting on a soft wall, which again can just be C4'd. I'm not sure why the smoke's been thrown in there. We do know that there's going to be players in connector and looking through. Surely this is just a freebie for Army. He's still Yokai got his Yokai there. drone, yeah. literally calling yeah. out directly from him. The diffuser is now cold underneath of a Yokai drone. Kills the starting to fly, though, so it may not matter. Three versus two. Nordwin got a lot of work to try and regain the control here and starts. IWI takes one out. Shukri making his way down these main stairs, but there's so much information demo. What a shot onto Nordwin! Bulletproof camera or not, it is not going to matter. Locked into the 1v1. IWI, you have the shotgun. You've just got to keep Playing yourself alive here. Mm -hmm. You've got a couple of seconds to hold on. Shukri hasn't got the diffuser. And he's going to be searching through the drone hole. That will not be good enough. We're going to see map one here go to Dunlimited. Yeah, you see a minute to go on the clock if you're the defense and you're just ready with the guns. You know they're going to be coming in from that snowmobile and they were ready. The information, the echo cams, the bulletproofs, opening up that single wall, using the, the kill holes in it. Do you like that position from the warden? Jumped up on the table, have that elevation looking down onto the remaining attackers, just scrambling in the bomb site. A good hold from the defense, uh, a bit of early aggression. I mean, the high that, that shot he had, you know, that cracker. You have to take what, what you get given. Um, so, yeah, done limited, very straight to the point. The, the rounds that they won were so on the money. Whenever they won a round, it didn't look as if they struggled whatsoever. Uh, but Defro just on the attacks today, too slow. Yeah not being able to stick to one idea. It seems to be if if the slightest bit of inconvenience, oh, scrap that, let's do something else. That doesn't work. You have to commit to it. No matter what happens, you have to commit to it. You have to die for the badge. Well, maybe the pressure of the lower bracket is getting to our teams. We're going to throw this one back over to the desk and see what they have to